stock market morning prep video for Tuesday, October 21st. That did get another push to the upside, small push. Uh, Vime was extremely light, so it, there's really no conviction to this uh, move uh, that we've had, or I should say this retracement rally that's been going on. Quick on the numbers, Dow Jones up 19.26, NASDAQ 57.64. S&P $17.25 and a Russell, which at least was a good sign, but also had an inside day from uh, from the previous day on Friday, up $12.64. So really no conviction to this upside move. And th to be quite frank, this is exactly what you need to look at and say, do we have a real good conviction of buyers coming in really wanting to buy this? No, it looks like to me it's just basic, it's basically a short covering rally. Now things could change. But um, I'm still looking at some upside targets here to fail so we can uh, uh, turn around and look to get short the market here. And that's really going to be where the big push is. At the moment, uh, I am still looking for a retest of the lows, if not break the lows. But um, I, again, guys, everything could change, and especially when you have a little pickup in volatility. You do not want to be second-guessing yourself or just uh, assuming that the markets are going to go lower. We're at a really at a conflection point now that... The markets are still a little too uh, low in, in, a, in the retrospect, in the area of the charts to look to get short, but um, I would be looking for a buy on this uh, pullback as well. If you're day trading, obviously a different story. But I wanted to show you the monthly chart, which we have, I showed you early in the month. I always like to show it mid-month as well. Uh, we're in the middle of the month, and you can see, just to show you where, uh, where the markets have come. Uh, from 2009 lows. I mean, this is a huge bearish rising wedge. And right now, as of right now, we are below that lower trend line. So we did not close, so we have to wait to the end of the month to get a confirmation that this bearish rising wedge has now triggered to the short side, okay? But keep this in mind and take a look at it every week. Um, it would not surprise me if we were to see, uh, we would break below the 20-month uh, moving average at one point okay now remember things don't go straight down but if we do get another scare uh, and it could be anything um, I do suspect the markets would actually move lower and this time with a little more fear to it okay now let's take a look at the um, S&P the E-mini S&P you can see the volume it's literally this is not what you want to see this is actually a short selling dream here a guy that's looking or a gal that's looking to short the market this is what you want to see. Now, what you want to do is obviously we want to wait for failure. We want to get that trigger. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if we tag that 20-day moving average and then start to roll over. But again, that's what we were looking for. That's the price area that we're looking for failure. Now, just because price gets up there, that doesn't mean that we're just going to go and short the market, right? We want this to roll over and take out the previous day low to get that trigger, okay? So there is a little bit of time involved in here. Um, but you can see this is clearly uh, not... Uh, not really healthy on this pullback here. Take a look at the uh, four-hour chart. Just like to see this sometimes. See our downside targets here have been met, and now we're back inside this small downtrend channel. Uh, we did alleviate some of this. Uh, this oh, excuse me. We did alleviate some of this downside pressure, uh, but to me, this is a this is a, just a dead cat bounce here. Unless volume starts to really pick up, guys, I would be very cautious looking to buy this dip in particular. Okay. Uh, now, if we were to sell off and either test the lows or take out the lows and then base at the low end of that range and start to go higher going into the end of the year, then yes, then I would say then we may have our Santa Claus rally intact. But as of right now, um, that's way too far in the picture to be projecting anything like that. Here's the diamonds, Dow Jones, um, and you can see here inside day, so and very low volume. Look at this volume, well below average. This is not good. Um, especially if you wanted to see this market start picking up some steam again. Okay, so this is definitely not a good sign. Now, again, remember, things could e immediately change. And how about the IWM? Look at the volume in the IWM. Well below the, uh, the 50 uh, moving average on the volume chart here, okay? We did hit the 20, um, so maybe we get back up into that 50-ish area right up in here uh, and look for some failure. We do have some overhead moving average resistance, as you can see. Uh, beautifully lined up 20, 34, and 50. Uh, let's see if uh, if price can break at least up to that 34 area and then possibly fail. Uh, now, as we all know, the IWM, the Russell 2000 index, is the weakest of the five that we follow. So your first go-to would be short the weakest index, and uh, that would be the IWM. 
And let's see the transports. Even again, you see repetitive pattern here. Transports are lower uh, in volume, and we have now went from 137 to 147. So went 10 points, 10 points in on low volume. So if this falls, and this is our leader, this is our, deemed our main leader of the five indices that we follow, if this starts to break down, uh, I'd be looking for the 145-ish area right now as your uh, break lower and close lower. That will probably give you a good in, uh, scenario. Now, if we do break up into that uh, lower trend line of this uptrend channel and fail, that, would, that could be your initial start where your, where your stops inside the high of that candle when and if that did occur. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I want to give you a couple of scenarios. Uh, let's see the the Qs. Now the Qs had a decent day. Netflix was up, um, and again lower volume, lower than average volume. But at least the Qs had an outside day, where many of the other indices had inside dates. That's not good. So the Qs definitely picked up a little bit of steam to the upside. And again, I'm probably looking at that 20-day as a target for failure and start to roll back down again. So hopefully this helps. I like to concentrate on the indices as well to eliminate a lot of the noise. Um, you know, we have our MACD, Stochastics, RSI, what have you. But let's concentrate on price action, price and volume. That's really what's going to give you the, the full picture. And, of course, a couple of the indicators that you like, throw them in there. It does help to show some overbought and oversold readings, okay? Hope it helps, everybody. Have a great day. Be safe in trading, and uh, we'll speak to you tomorrow. Take care.